So, last class <coughs> we are discussing about the solution of H inhibitory control problem state space formulation framework. So, our plant description is x dot is equal to A x plus B 1 W B 2 U. W is the exogenous input whose dimension m cross m 1 cross 1 and this is the control input whose dimension is m 2 cross 1 and z is the regulated output whose dimension you can write it p 1 cross 1 and w u r as I mentioned earlier. And y is your measured output that will be used for control purpose to generate the control u. So, that dimension you can write p cross p 2 cross 1. So, this is the description of the plant and if you see we have a two inputs u control input and w is the exogenous input in all equations. So, as we know our let us call we if we have a system x dot is equal to a x plus b u y is equal to c x plus d u which we have discussed earlier. Then what is the transformation of this one? Nothing but from the knowledge of the a b c d matrix we can write is c s i minus a whole inverse b plus d. When d is equal to 0 the transfer function will be strictly proper transfer functions. And this thing the transfer function you see with the knowledge of a b c d we can find out the transfer function of the system. So, pack notation means in short hand we can write g s if you know the information a b c d I can easily generate transfer function. It does not mean g s is equal to this one mind it g s if you know the a b c d matrix I can write this transfer function into this form. So, keeping this thing in mind then we can write our given set of equation in state space form we can write in packed form on shorthand form. Our a is this one as I told you our input are two inputs are there if you see earlier equation that these are the two inputs one is input control input and another is the exogenous input in all equations. So, this thing if you want to find out the transfer function of this one we can write in compact form a b is combined b 1 and b 2 c is combined c 1 and c 2 and d is all inputs exogenous input. So, similarly I can write it transfer function of p of s c this is our c you can compare it this is our s i minus a this is our b and this is our d. So, if you uh, expand and write it into a matrix transformation form we will get four block like this way. And now you see these four blocks where the four blocks are the what are the inputs w and u w is the exogenous input and u is the control input and z is the regulated output y is the measurement measured output. So, as we mentioned that this transformation p f s is nothing but a c s i minus a b plus d and if you expand this expression and write it into this form you will get it this c i s i minus a whole inverse then b i plus plus this this one d 1 1 that is our p 1 1 s. Similarly, you can write c 2 s i minus a whole inverse this is b 1 then b 1 plus d 2 1 and what will be this one again now this column c 1 s i minus a whole inverse b 2 plus d 1 2. Now, this block c 2 s i minus a whole inverse b 2 
plus d 2 2. Okay. So, if you just this this column this matrix multiplied by this then multiplied by this then add with this one you will get it this one. In other way this is nothing but a if you see this one this is nothing but a p 1 1 s this is nothing but our p 1 1 s this is nothing but a p 1 2 s and this is nothing but a our p 2 1 s and this is nothing but a our p 2 2 s. So, in other words you can say when input is 0 find out the transformation between w to z w to z when input is there and that transform this term is not there and that will be this one what we got it here. Now, <coughs> similarly the transformation between w to y when u is 0 that transformation p 2 1 is nothing but a p 2 1 is nothing but a you see c 2 s i minus 1 inverse b 1 plus d 2 and that I can write it straight away from the description of that state space equation. If you see the state space equation that you can write it when input is not there agree then when input is now transformation between w to w to z what is the transformation u is not there this is not there. So, it is a b c d I can write it simply when transformation between w to z when u is not there this two term will not be there this matrix is a b c d that is what I am writing for all these cases. Then p 1 2 p 1 2 you see when w is 0 when w is 0 then what is the transformation between z to, to y that transformation is c 1 s i minus a inverse b 2 plus this and that you can write from basic state phase description of our plant from there you can write it. Similarly, I can write it p 2 2 s if you see I can write it the p 2 2 s transformation between y to u when w is 0 that transformation is that one. How can I write it as I mentioned from the plant description of this one from this one I can write transformation between u and y when w is 0 this. So, or a b c d w is 0 means this term will not be there. So, so each block 4 block representation p 1 1 p 1 2 p 2 1 p 2 2 we can find out is transformation just this way. Now, if somebody interested because our ultimate aim to reduce the effect of w on measure uh, what is called regulated output that. So, what is the transformation between these two things as you recall you can recall that our four block representation is that two inputs w is the exogenous input u is the control input z is the regulated output y is the measured output which will be used for control purpose. So, this p 1 as a if you see p of s p of s we have like this way p 1 1 p 1 2 p 2 1 p 2 2. So, if you want to find out the transformation between the w to z the lower loop this is the lower loop of p this is the lower loop of p is closed is closed with the block p. If you want to find out the transformation between w to z transformation and and the k of s in the lower block of p that is closed agree with the block k s agree. So, how to do it when you are lower block so this is the lower block matrices agree. So, it, it will be starting with the upper block matrices you see p 1 1 and it suffixes 1 1. So, I will start with first suffix. So, what will be p 1 2 s into k of s this is you have to merge into p block bracket i. Now, p 2 2 s p 1 1 are already p 2 2 s into 
k s whole inverse. So, I have already taken the what is called that first suffix is already taken or the second suffix I have to take last first suffix I have to taken first and second suffix I have to take last. So, it will be p 2 1. So, second suffix will be last this one p 2 1. So, this is the transformation between this to this of this one. So, our if you look our statement of the problem is solution of H infinity, uh, H infinity control problem standard H infinity control problem means that design a sub optimal control k of s that this this you design a sub optimal control k of s such that our closed loop system this closed loop system should be internally stable not only that an effect of disturbance on regulated output should be less than some pre specified positive quantity. So, our goal is this design of sub optimal uh, what is called design of sub optimal H V V controller means or standard H V V controller means design a sub optimal controller K of S such that closed loop system is internally closed loop system is internally stable agree and not only stable our motivation to design k such that h infinity norm of transformation between w to z will be less than some gamma. So, there are two folds in our motivation that we have to design k of s in such a way that it should stabilize the closed loop system internally as well as the h infinity norm between the signal w exogenous input w and regulated output z h v norm less than gamma and gamma is some p specified value positive p specified value greater than 0. So, before I as I mentioned as I am now telling you detailed derivation of standard h infinity control problem we will not discuss derived only we will give you the algorithmic steps for this one. What before that we have to make some assumptions the h infinity sub optimal solution is obtained by the following assumptions. The h infinity h infinity sub optimal solution is obtained by the following assumption. What is this following assumption? First thing to controller to obtain a stabilizing controller k s to obtain stabilizing controller k s the necessary and sufficient condition is this two a b 2 this pair b 2 associate with u in the state equation and c 2 associated c 2 associate in the output equation in the output equation c 2. So, our a b 2 must be stabilizable and a c 2 must be detectable. So, this two ensures this two condition is the necessary and sufficient condition for existence of for existence of stabilizing controller. So, this is the first before we apply the h infinity sub optimal control problem solution of sub optimal we have to check whether the system is stabilizable or detectable a b 2 and a c. Next assumption <coughs> is because when you will design the h infinity controller we have to solve two Riccati equation and the existence of to Riccati equation agree guarantees that this rank must be satisfied. What is the first a j omega i b 2 associate with a u 2 u and c 1 in measurement uh, equation matrix c 1 and d 1 2 and this matrix should have full column for all frequency whatever the frequency you change let us call frequency is 0.1 because I know a b c a b 2 c 1 d 2 find out the for particular frequency find out the rank of this one and that rank must be full column rank for all frequency when you will sweep the frequency from 0 to infinity the rank should not differentiate from full rank that means n plus m 2. This is the a 2 1 condition and a 3 condition is 
द रैंक ऑफ ए जे ओमेगा आई बी वन एसोसिएट विद द एक्सोनेशन पुट सी टू इज एसोसिएट विद द वट इज कॉल मेजर आउटपुट एंड डी टू डी टू वन एसोसिएट विद द एक्सोनेशन पुट दैट रैंक शुड बी ए फुल रो रैंक फुल रो रैंक फॉर ऑल फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन्स सम फ्रीक्वेंसी उमेगा इज टू उमेगा वन फाइंड आउट द रैंक दैट रैंक मस्ट बी एन प्लस एम टू another frequency we get to find out the rank of this one that also must be n plus m2 for all frequencies this rank should be full row rank so this dimension column is n this column will be how much m1 okay and this row is p2 and naturally this one will be n so this should be a full row rank so a2 and a3 condition ensure that the two ricati equation which will be necessary to design the h infinity controller one ricati equation for designing the controller another ricati equation will be necessary for designing a estimator so this two existence of solution of these two ricati equation ensures the rank row rank full row rank and full column rank must satisfy it and not only this the h infinity controller when you will design it it will ensure there is no pole zero cancellation on the imaginary axis on the imaginary axis so this ensure that the system will be internally stable okay so this is the condition 3 and condition 4 is the rank of d12 d12 associate if is the state based description of our original problem d12 associate with the input in measurement equation and d21 associate with the output equation in the what is called exogenous input so this should be full column means rank should be m2 and this should be full rank that means rank of this one will be p so this is ensures this to con this to condition ensure that whatever the controller you will get it after designing h infinity controller that controller will be proper that controller will be proper not only this and you will be able to realize this controller it will not be improper transformation of that one that controller so this condition also necessary to be satisfied so condition 1 to 4 is essential to design a h infinity controller standard h infinity controller or sub optimum controller when you will go to design based on h infinity control approach then this a to 4 that condition must be satisfied other condition is the simplifies the our control algorithms so a5 conditions that means fifth condition this condition is simplifies the h infinity control problem only so if b1 d21 d21 dimension is p2 m1 okay if d1 b1 d21 transpose is equal to 0 physically it implies b1 associate with the noise in the state equation mean noise means exogenous input d21 if you see the d21 is associate with the measurement noise d21 associate with the measurement noise though we have considered both are same that means they are correlated if this will be zero when they are uncorrelated this that mean process noise and the measurement noise are uncorrelated then this product of this one will be zero because this product will come in the h infinity control algorithms there will if it is uncorrelated there it self we can write it b1 d21 transpose whenever we will get it we will put it zero so from this one i can write it d21 always we can make into this structure zero i by using 
that what is called some transformation. I can any um, d 2 1 I can convert into this structure. Agree? So, if you make it this structure then d 2 1 d 1 2 transpose is identity identity from this you see identity further implies that b 1 d 2 1 if you multiply it by d 2 1 transpose this into this is 0 this into this is i identity matrix this. So, if the structure of d 2 1 is this one I can write b 1 d 2 1 and d 2 1 into d 2 transpose is identity and b 1 d 2 1 is 0 when process noise and measurement noise are uncorrelated. <coughs> this is the fifth condition, but that is not the essential to design a H infinity controller. So, sixth condition is again d 2 1 transpose d c 1 if it is 0 and d 1 2 d 1 2 associate with the regulated output noise it is also d 1 2 associate with the regulated output equations and it is associated with the exogenous input. So, if this structure d 1 2 structure if it is 0 i I can always make even it is not that structure I can always make it 0 and i structure. If it is this implies d 1 2 transpose d 1 2 is identity matrix and further I can write it d 1 2 c 1 d 1 2 that this multiplied by c 1 d 1 multiplied by c 1 this is transpose agree d 1 2 transpose c 1 is 0 that is we have seen and d 1 2 transpose d 1 is identity gain. So, this simplification is it you can simplify the our h infinite standard control problem this is not the essential what is called assumption that 5 and 6 similarly 7 also. What is 7? d 1 2 is 0. If you see this that d 1 2 is 0 straight away we can see from this equation I will show you this one. If d 1 2 is 0 if this is 0 that means our p 1 1 s is equal to c 1 s i minus a whole inverse b 1. So, this p 1 1 matrix which is transformation between w 2 z will be strictly proper transformations. If d 2 2 is 0 see if d 2 2 is 0 just here that is if d 2 2 is 0 that is then c 2 s i minus inverse b 2. So, p 2 2 the transformation between u 2 y the transformation p 2 s is your will be strictly proper transformation. So, this two assumptions d 1 2 0 d 2 2 is 0 is not essential, but if it is 0 p 1 1 s will be strictly proper transformations transformation and this is will be strictly proper transformation p 2 2 if d 1 1 is 0 p 1 1 will be strictly proper transformation and this will be strictly proper. This assumption as I told you not needed, but it is simplifies the what is called the solution of Riccati equation other things and also the transformation between w to z. So, our main basic assumption a 1 to a 4 and other assumption 5, 6, 7 is not an essential assumption to design the standard H infinity control problem. So, <coughs> let us as I told you I will not go for details derivation of the H in standard H infinity control problem we will just write the algorithm steps how to design suboptimal H infinity controller K of S. So, our algorithm step for suboptimal H infinity control problem solution. So, first step you write in state phase description of the plant into this form. This is a state equation and is x is the state vector whose dimension n cross 1, w is the exogenous input whose dimension m 1 cross 1, u is the control input m 2 cross 1 
and Z is the regulated output and W is exogenous input, U is exogenous, exogenous U, U is the control input and hence I can find out the dimension of A, B 1, B 2, C 1, D 1, 1, D 1, 2 and Y T is the uh, what is called measured output. Since I know the dimension of W, D U and X, I can find out the dimension of C 2, D 2, 1, D 2, 2. This is the first you have to make it into this structure. If you want to de design H infinity controller based on state based model approach, then you have to make it in this structure. It is called four block representation it is something like this form two inputs W and another input is U and this input is your output is Z regulated output this output is Y and uh, we have a controller U we have designed based on this our controller K of S. So, this is our P of S the four block representation you have to write like this way. Next step is that as I told you the check the assumption 1 check the assumption 1 A 1 A 2 A 3 are satisfied now. If they are not A 2 and A 3 this is the corresponding A 2 and A 3 if it is not satisfied then what you have to do it then you have to modify that our system by introducing the weights again. Okay? So, this as I mentioned what is the useful assumption for A 1 is what for A 2, A 3 for what you are doing A 1 is assumption is that A B 2, A C 2 must be stabilizable and detectable in order to get the controller stabilizing controller. So, this is the second step check the all assumption A 2, A 1, A 2, A 3. The third is <coughs> check check the assumption A 4, A 7 though I told you it is not necessary in A 4 and A 7 you see the A 4 and A 7 assumption is what it means. The A 4 the assumption full rank column rank full row rank is used for power getting the proper controller even if it is not proper it is a by proper then hence we can this will give you the proper what is called transfer function of the controller hence you can realize for a4 and a5 a6 a7 agree this assumption a4 assumption check the assumption a4 and a7 a7 assumption is what A same assumption D 1 2 is equal to D 1 1 0 D 2 2 is 0 means to get this P 1 1 P 2 2 as strictly power transform and that does simplifies the algorithm only. So, check, but as I mentioned earlier in our assumption this assumption this this is our assumption if you see this this our assumption is this is the assumption is 5 we have considered 0, but this assumption you can relax this if you see B 1 D 2 1 we assigned in assumption 5 0. So, that assumption you can relax and this is the assumption 6 if you see that assumption also you can relax it this assumption. So, I am relaxing that assumptions. Step 4 select a large positive value of gamma positive value of gamma where the H V norm will be less than gamma. So, gamma is positive quantity large positive initially you have considered large positive number of gamma where gamma interprets is what the H V norm between the exogenous input to the regulated output. Solve two Riccati equations. Now, next step is after checking all these things you have to solve two Riccati equation. What is this two Riccati equation? Before I write the two Riccati equation in details that our recall our LQG problem or LQR problem. 
what is this our LQG or LQ when we are going to design a controller we have to solve a Riccati equation this is called algebraic Riccati equation and this algebraic a transpose p p a minus p b r inverse b transpose p plus q you have to solve it where you know a b r is the designer choice q is designer choice you have to solve p once you solve p you can easily find out the controller gain uh, r inverse b transpose p the controller gain in r inverse r inverse b transpose p if you want to if you once you solve this one and you see i need the information of a b q r agree if that hamiltonian matrix this is called hamiltonian matrix a minus b r inverse b transpose minus q is the q is the weightage associated with the state vector and r is the weightage in the control vector and minus eight. So, this is the Hamiltonian matrix and from the Hamiltonian matrix I can create what is called the Riccati equation. Once you know the Hamiltonian matrix of this one I can create the what is called algebraic regression. How would it say A transpose A, A transpose P then transpose of the P A minus P this quantity minus P this quantity b r inverse b p minus p this quantity that minus will come and then p plus q whatever the sign is there plus q. So, from the in short I am writing Riccati of this one means from the knowledge of Hamiltonian matrix this is nothing but a Hamiltonian matrix this is nothing but a Hamiltonian matrix from the knowledge of Hamiltonian matrix one can create the algebraic Riccati equation. So, keeping this thing in mind what I am doing it now I am writing the Riccati equation that we have to solve for the controller. So, now you see the x infinity is the solution of Riccati equation for designing controller. So, this our Riccati equation this is the Hamiltonian matrix this is the Hamiltonian matrix and Riccati equation I can form from the knowledge of Hamiltonian matrix. What is this? This is I can consider in equivalently you can consider this is A, this is this whole thing equivalently and this is whole thing equivalently I can consider if you consider with the L q r then this is nothing but a B r inverse B r inverse this is equivalent if you consider A, this is whole thing equivalent to B R inverse B transpose, this whole thing equivalently you can consider minus Q and if you this is A, then it will be A transpose, this whole thing you can minus A transpose. So, I can easily write the Riccati equation A transpose P. So, I am A transpose P means our x infinity here I have considered the matrix the solution of Riccati equation is x infinity a transpose p then p a then minus because minus then then what is I am writing p that quantity that quantity minus is there here then p then this quantity this quantity is minus q plus q we have to write it this. So, this is the Riccati equation and what is the recreation for designing the controller H infinity controller designing the for controller part. And what is in here you say we introduce the new thing that D 1 to bar D 1 to bar is D 1 transpose D 1 to that is I am consider D 1 to bar inverse again the whole thing is D 1 to bar inverse. Now, if you consider the special structure of D 1 to as I mentioned earlier D 1 to as I mentioned earlier if you see that one um, anyway the 0 i 5 
just a minute. Uh, if you consider the one structure, uh, you see D 1 to transpose D 1 to is identity. So, if you that structure this will be identity again. It does not matter even if you not that structure it will be you will calculate and put the value is here, but it is known to you. So, you have to solve the Riccati equation. We have already discussed how to solve the Riccati equation different methods that you recall. Once you know the solution of the Riccati equation x infinity then controller gain k constant conjugate I can use by using that one. And this term will be 0 if this term is 0 if the if this is 0 then this will not come into the picture in our things. Okay. So, our controller gain is that one this is 0 if if this quantity is 0 then this term will not be there agree? or you forget it is. This will not be 0 if this is 0 that what we have considered in this assumption. If D 1 to transpose C 1 is 0 then naturally this will not come into the picture if this is if. So, similarly that what is called we can design this is the <coughs> controller this is the your estimator this is the Riccati is the estimator Riccati equation. What is the Riccati and this is the knowledge of A you can again you can consider this is A this is our minus B R inverse R inverse B transpose then this is our q this is our if it is a this will be a transpose. So, you can write it and our d 2 1 is what that one and b 1 bar expressed by this one. So, d 2 1 bar if d 2 1 has a having a special structure then this quantity will be identity even though it is not a special structure one can compute by knowing the knowledge of d 2 1. So, from this Hamiltonian matrix, this is nothing but a Hamiltonian matrix, I can write the Riccati equation. What is this A? I have written A transpose means that matrix only. This whole thing is A, A transpose means this will go A transpose P, then P A, P A. What is this A will be? That will be transpose, I missed it here. P A okay. then P this matrix is written this matrix into P because it is minus is there minus plus Q that one. So, this is the this is the algebraic Riccati equation this is you can say algebraic Riccati equation you we have to solve the algebraic equation y infinity of this one this you know all matrices then you can solve it, but this is a matrix and non nonlinear algebraic equation. So, <coughs> this is a step step 8 is the solution of what is called Riccati equation for estimator agree that you have to solve it. Now, step 9 step 9 is estimator gain for estimator or observer gain, gain you have to find out is nothing but a that z infinity into k e. What is z infinity is related with this expression. I know x infinity, I know y infinity, gamma I have assigned initially very large. So, that z is no z infinity is known and k e is what y infinity you know all these matrices you know you can find out k e not in many k e. So, I can write this is nothing but a estimated gain k l as you know estimated equation now estimated equation except dot from basic equation I can write it from basic equation I can write the estimated equation you see the our basic equation see 
that this is where we basic equation estimated equation I can write it x hat dot is equal to a hat b 1 w hat plus u 1 w hat plus correction term. So, I am write x hat dot is equal to a hat plus b 1 w hat plus w 2 b 2 u of t plus correction term and this is the output measurement data is the actual measurement and this is the estimated measurement that multiplied by what is called estimated gain this is called estimated gain. So, this is the how, how is calculated w at that this expression in this right hand side everything is known to us from this one and the y hat that output estimated value of the output is that one. And <coughs> if you see this one our standard what is called LQG problem where the estimated is there this term and this term are coming extra in H infinity uh, in, in H, H, H infinity controller in comparison with LQG this term and this term agree and this term and this term is coming extra for this one. So, <coughs> and w to w hat you know how to calculate w hat this one estimated with this. So, I know the estimated equation well defined now. So, I have given the equation number 1 is our if you see the our equation number 1 is the our controller gain control law this is the equation where u is equal to k c x set of t equation this is the estimated equation is 2 and w hat y hat is 3 and 4. So, now one can easily find out the if you put this if you put the value of y at here uh, w at here y at here and after that u you put u is equal to minus k c x set in this expression then I can simplify this equation in final form. So, that is why we are writing the using equation number 1 then 2 4 in equation 4 we get this expression is nothing but a if you see you, you can get this expression by putting the value of y hat by this expression sorry w hat and y hat by this expression in this and u u u of t you can put minus k c x hat of t in this expression. Then finally, estimated equation this is the estimated equation you will get this one. Now, if somebody wants to find out the transformation of the controller as you see from the very beginning I have written a transformation of this controller here the transformation of the controller between y to w y to u. So, one can easily find out that transformation of this one step 11 transformation from y y is the input u is the output of the controller input to the controller y output of the controller u. How will you find out using equation 5 and our equation 1 and our equation 1 is what is nothing but a u is equal to minus k c x hat of t this is our e equation 1. So, from this one I can easily find out the this is find out the transformation k of s what is it is something like that x dot is equal to a x plus b u y is equal to c x plus d find out the transformations. So, in our case this whole thing will be our a y of t is the input to the controller. So, this is our b our output is u of t. So, this will be our c. So, it is c here b here okay? and d there is no d term here d is 0 d bar and whole thing is you can think of is a bar b bar all this thing. So, our controller transfer function this is the transfer function of the 
controller. Generally, this controller transformation will be very large order even it is more than the our original system order. So, one can if you one, one can find out the transformation of the controller in this one. Then finally, there exists a stabilizing controller K s if and only if necessary and sufficient condition two Riccati equation one Riccati equation for controller another Riccati equation for the estimator are solvable and they are solvable provided the assumption which we made it in the beginning of the solution of the problem assumption that must be satisfied and following condition is satisfied. That means, rho x infinity y infinity of less than gamma. That means, spectral radius of this matrix, spectral radius of this matrix, spectral radius means maximum Eigen value of the matrix, maximum Eigen value of the matrix. If it is less than gamma square, agree that condition also must satisfy this condition and following condition the following condition must also satisfy agree that means there exists a controller but that does not mean that controller what we have designed the controller that does not mean the h infinity norm of h infinity norm of t z w will be minimum will be minimum so what you have to do it next is whatever the initial value of gamma we have selected decrease the gamma and proceed this whole process that follow repeat the you see repeat the steps 6 and 8 6 is then you when it is you got you you have got the gamma initially you have the large value of gamma and we got this solution let us call this this condition you are satisfied then what we mean the gamma value we can reduce it reduce the gamma value and then again you solve what you have should solve it the two Riccati equation find out the controller gain observer gain or the estimated gain agree and then again you check these two condition if it is less than this one further you further you reduce the gamma in this way process you go on until unless you are able to reduce the value of gamma agree. So, if this condition is satisfied that means and repeat the steps 6 and 8 what is the steps 6 and 8 see repeat 6 and 8 that this is the 6 and 8 the solution of controller Riccati equation and 8 is the solution of what is called observer Riccati equation observer Riccati equation. Once you solve x and y infinity you can easily find out this. If this is less than that one then further you reduce and solve x 6 and 8 okay. step step 6 and 8. So, this process will continue until and unless you will be until and unless you will be able to reduce the value of gamma in the sense that when you have solved the two Riccati equation spectral norm of this two Riccati product of two Riccati equation spectral norm should be less than gamma square if you get it then further you reduce it. So, finally, I can say compute this you see this is important compute the spectral radius of product of these two Riccati equations until satisfactory solution is um, obtained. Then compute finally, you compute K C, K L, K S S etcetera to design our controller. So, this is the algorithmic steps of that one. Now, let us see basically how you will realize this H M V D controller in block diagram, diagram representation. <coughs> this is the block diagram form basically I am doing if you see this one basically I am representing the plant first then I am representing the estimator that is all. So, I am just showing 
you the plant equation that plant this is the plant equation that I am just doing first thing and I made it assumptions that d 1 to that assumptions anyway. So, this is the equation the plant descriptions plant description is the, this, this one I made an assumption in order to draw the what is called that uh, block diagram form I made assumption d 1 1 0 d 2 2 0. This indicates that our the trans function p 1 1 s and p 2 2 s will be strictly proper trans function. In other words we made an assumption that our what is assumption number I think 6 assumption number 6 possibly yes 7 sorry this assumption I made it in order to do this one. So, I made an assumption assumption 7 is please see assumption a 7 means assumption 7 is assumed a 7 is assumed. So, if we a 7 is assumed that means d 1 1 d 1 2 d 1 1 d 2 2 is no is 0. So, first you see plant I have represented with a block dotted box So, what is x dot look at that plant description x dot is equal to a x. So, a into x plus b 1 into w. So, b 1 this is b 1 w it is coming signal then b 2 u. So, b 2 u that is x dot and x dot and our, our regulated output z z is what c 1 x d 1 1 I have considered 0. So, there is no input from w. So, d 1 1 part is 0 then what will come d 1 2 u. So, it is coming d 1 2 u this signal. So, that is the regulated output and that dimension is if you consider p 1 cross 1 agree. So, our regulated output this and measured output is what y c 2 into x c 2 into x plus d 2 d 2 1 into what w d 2 1 into w you see d 2 1 into w. So, this is the regulated output. So, this dotted box is the plant description this is the plant descriptions made it and in other words I can four block representation I just can make it p s form. Now, it is a estimated equation if you see the estimated equation here that is <coughs> I have just written it estimated equation. Ah, this is the estimated equation. that is I am now representing in block diagram form. Now, you see the estimated e equation is what a this is the estimated y y hat what is y hat y hat is a c c 2 x set c 2 x set and also you see the, this, this one c 2 x set and also that 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 one x set into gamma square you see c 2 x set and x c 2 x set where is c 2 x set c 2 x set and the gain see this one uh, estimated equation. I just written all this equation from the basic estimated equation see from this equation putting the w 
and y, y hat and u print I got this block diagram agree this with the dotted things and controller is what k c into x set k c into x set is the this is the x set k c into x set and our estimator is a a into x set plus b 1 into y hat b 1 into w hat b 1 into w hat w hat below you put it this is b 1 into w hat agree then b 2 into u then b 2 into u you see b 2 into u this block is coming then will be correction term what is correction term k l into y y hat y minus y hat this is the correction term is coming. So, this and what is y hat y hat is nothing but a your c 2 into x set plus d 2 1 plus d 2 1 into d 2 1 w hat. So, you would write it w hat this one. So, note that this block and this block gamma square d 2 1 b 1 transpose x and gamma square b 1 b 2 transpose these two blocks are extra term in comparison with l q. You see this block and this block where you have written here and here are the extra terms in comparison with l q r. This is the the h m v d standard control problem in structure wise this one estimator is there and this block is called estimator this dotted board is estimator and that is obtained using equation 2 to 3 this this whole block is obtained this one. So, this is the all about the course course then I will give you the assignment sheet and the one problem I will solve give you the in the assignment sheet how to solve H infinity control problem using MATLAB program because hand calculation as I told manual calculation is just impossible for higher order systems. So, I will work out one example before I give the what is called the um, assignment sheet you will find everything in then assignment sheet how to solve a H infinity control problem for higher dimensional problems. So, this is all about the course and you will get your assignment sheets. Uh, from static optimization and dynamic optimization and H and V control problems all assignment sheets you will get it in the website. Thank you very much.